In this video, I will go over the installation and licensing procedure for WinMax desktop software. The first thing you will want to do once you've received your installation files is make sure that you are either logged in as the administrator on the computer or that your user account has full administrative privileges. You can right-click computer or my computer icon depending on which OS you are working on. Select Manage to bring up the computer management console. Then double-click Local Users and Groups, Groups, and then Administrators. If you don't see your login username in the list of administrators, you will need to add it here or log in with the administrator account. Now this account isn't always enabled on all computers by default. Instead of clicking on the Groups folder, we will click on the Users folder. In here, we will want to set the password for the admin account. Then we can go into the properties for this user and uncheck the box that says account disabled. Once you are an administrator or logged in as the administrator, you are ready to install WinMax. Right click the installer file and run as admin. Follow the prompts, click next, accept the license agreement, then next and install. If any boxes pop up saying you will need to reboot, just click OK. Then finish and reboot. Now we have rebooted and we want to right click OptiClient and choose Run as Admin. You will select the mill or lathe, whichever one you are licensing, by choosing the appropriate radio button. Select the Install tab and expand the menus in the Options selection pane to see the choices. Check the option or options to be installed by clicking on the box next to the corresponding name. To select all options for the desktop software, click here on Check All. Select the Request License Code button, then go to the Pending tab. Click on the Save Pending File button. Name this file whatever you want. I will name it Mill. Hit Save to save the file to your desktop or another convenient location such as a USB thumb drive. Email the file that was generated with a dot pending extension to your Herco representative. They will send you a reply with the activation codes. There will only be one for the lathe and two for the mill if the five axis option is selected. Please note that the 5-axis option can take a little longer to receive a reply and will come as a separate file to be loaded on its own. You will take these files and copy them back to the target computer. Select Tools, Activate Options from File. Browse to and double-click the file that was sent to you. Repeat this step for the 5-axis option. Click OK to close the automatic activation review. Close OptiClient by clicking Done. You can delete these files once your options are all installed. Then, just right-click the WinMax mill or lathe icon and run as admin to launch the program. 